So now that we've gone through all the individual elements, I hope you've been kind of following it, not not to kind of treat them all separately, but I hope you've seen the kind of story that's being developed as we move from one thing to the other. I'll just kind of try and put it together for you here, which is the idea of circulatory systems. Okay, so this whole thing, this whole topic is really about circulatory systems and cardiovascular disease. But circulatory systems, remember first we started with why organisms need them. Then we looked at at essentially the organisms that have them, what are they? What are circulatory systems and how they work? So that was the basic idea of mass flow transport. So transport not by simply diffusion, but by mass flow. And then we looked more closely at the heart in terms of its structure and how its structure related to it performing its function. Okay, then we looked at the blood vessels. They are another important component. So you've got blood vessels and to finish that all off, you have your transport, you have your transport medium. So that's basically water as the kind of basis of that, water's properties that allow it to be a good transport medium. But essentially, essentially these go together. The heart, the blood vessels, and the transport medium, they all work together, and that's basically your circulatory system. Okay, so that includes cardiac cycle, that includes uh, heart structure and the explanations of why certain parts of the structure are the way they are. Once we had discussed how a circulatory system works, we then talked about cardiovascular disease and the two forms of that, atherosclerosis and blood and blood clotting. And basically they these two things rely on your understanding of the role of blood vessels in ensuring um, the correct functioning of the circulatory system. Okay? So then we move on and we look at the risk factors. Risk factors. Okay? And one of the key risk factors is obesity. And obesity is caused by an energy imbalance. And our storage forms of energy in the body are carbohydrates and lipids. And lipids extends to the role of LDLs and HDLs, which feeds back to atherosclerosis. Okay, so once we've discussed lip, uh, lipids and carbohydrates as energy sources, we, we also looked at the other risk factors, okay, which I won't list here, but there's a range of them. Okay, and the idea that uh, you know some of these risk factors are lifestyle choices. That's very important. Okay, so some of them are lifestyle choices, and some of them are non-controllable. So there's nothing really one can do about them. Okay, so 
lifestyle choices, non-controllable, but then the idea, the discussion of risk factors continue to this idea that you can reduce, you can reduce the risk, and again, there's two types here, one being, again, there's lifestyle changes you can make to reduce the risk, as well as some drug treatments that can reduce the risk. So this is basically topic one.